tourism at our MUTP. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tourism at RMUTP, broadcasted by Lachamongkon University of Technology, Pranakorn, on the 13th of March, 2024, at 9 a.m. Now, you are with me, Nonapon Kitisi Panya, a lecturer of tourism major, Faculty of Liberal Arts. So you are always with me every Wednesday morning. Well, this program is the 50th episode. Okay, for this episode, I continue to tell you about information of tourist attraction or tourist destination of for four regions of Thailand, but in each week, I just only tell you only one place at a time. To make you know more about tourist attraction of Thailand, I think the program is vital to students of tourism major and other people who would like to learn and know more about Thailand because the program allow viewers to understand Thailand in the perspective of tourism, which is known as tourist attraction and to have the opportunity to acquire informative document. Therefore, the program Tourism at RMUTP is created to encourage people to travel around Thailand and to enjoy about scenery of Thailand while impressing Thai culture. The program does not only provide people about important things that are knowledgeable and informative, but it also allows people to acknowledge information for their future career and for a quick understanding of Thailand. And at the last part of the program, I also provide you news and latest update from our university as usual to get you to know more about our university. Tourism at our MUTP. Yes, our program has informed you a lot about Thailand and Thai culture which is reflected by Thai people in all four regions of Thailand. Thai culture includes Thai arts, Thai handicrafts, and also Thai food that is yummy. And last week, I talked to you about information of tourist destination of the region in the westward of Thailand to make you know more about tourist attraction of Thailand, which is the Hoi Me Kamin waterfall in Sisawat district. But today, I'm going to tell you another attraction in Kanchanaburi, which is in Sangklapuri district. That Thai people would like to go for making merit and donation. Yes, it is the Mon Bridge. Have you ever heard about the Mon Bridge? It is maybe also called Sapan Mon in Thai. Um, the bridge itself represents art, culture, and architecture of the Mon people who settled down 
for a long time as a community along the river bank of Songkaria and in like a, in the Wachila Longkorn Dam. Well, if we are talking about Sangkaburi district, the first thing that it come to mind should be definitely be a picture of a wooden bridge stretching across the river. The bridge is embraced by verdant mountain range surrounded by plants and diverse species and covered by a thin layer of fog. Okay, romantic, <laughs> isn't it? The Dasso Bridge that reflects the charm of local people's way of life is named Uttamanuson Bridge, a community known as Mon Bridge in Thai Saphan Mon. Formerly, it ranked Thailand's longest wooden bridge with the length of 850 meters and the world wooden bridge and the world second longest wooden bridge next to Ubiang Bridge in Burma. Uttamanuson Bridge links the two banks of Sangkra, Songkaria River at Nong Lu sub-district, Sangkraburi district, Kanchanaburi province. The bridge was built under the initiation of Luang Pho Uttama, the famous abbot of Wang Wiwe Kalam Temple. The construction between the year one uh, 1986 and 1987 was completely was completed by labor of Mon people. The bridge was considered the root of a friendship between Thai and Mon people and a little bit Burmese tribe because it linked together Sangkraburi district to the Mon community on the other side of the bank, but still in Sangkraburi district. Additionally, it became one of the well-known tourist attraction in Kantanaburi. It is unfortunate that on the 28th July 2000, 13 at 6 30 p.m the bridge fell apart into two parts and make a 30 meter construction from the mid middle collapse into the river because of a three day long heavy lane there was also fresh flood sweeping down lock from Tung Yai Naresuant Wildlife Sanctuary, which made the collision worsened. The situation as the damaged part, which was increased up to 70 meters. It's a sad event, isn't it? By the afternoon of the next day. Therefore, a bamboo bridge has been built for temporary use while Mon Bridge was under restoration. But now it's okay completely and people can visit that, that place. Okay, that's all from this part. Bye from now. See you again in the next part. Tourism at our MUTP. Now, welcome back to part two, which I will tell you more details about the Mon Wooden Bridge or the Sapan Mon of Sangkabuli. Well, 
a remote place of forest, waterfall, small villages, and farmland. s a n k a b u r i Take some effort to go to, because it is covered with a high range mountain. A long journey across a scenic route lead to the town, which is a mix of Thai, Burma, Burmese, g a r i a n g and Mon people. The s a n k a b u r i district houses a number of natural, cultural, and historical sites that are worth to visit. The villages. The village main attraction are what we want. We we Karam Temple and the market, where visitor can sample Mon food and buy handmade Mon products. Nowadays, the bridge is closed for vehicle, but people can still walk over the wooden bridge. The bridge is popular, a popular place to see an unforgettable sunset or sunrise at the dam. Tourists can also take a bath, like the Mon children, when we can see along the river bank that they bathe and pray happily along the area. Today. The bridge is mainly used by the locals and tourists to make merit by giving alms to monks. This event occurs daily at around 6 a.m. If tourists would like to go, you have to wake up very early. Of course, you couldn't miss this, and I have shared my experience to everyone. And I recommend you to go and visit there once. I hope information I share to you today is essential and interesting. I think it's vital to students of tourism major and important to people who would like to be an English-speaking guide of Thailand. To recommend to foreign tourists as a pride of Thailand, and I think foreign tourists may like this information. That's all from this part, and thank you. Tourism at our MUTP. Okay, welcome back to the last part. It's part three for today. It is about RMUTP news as usual. It is about the students' project showcase. Well, Faculty of Mass Communication Technology, l a t m o n g k o n University of Technology, p r a n a k o n Organize an exhibition thesis work of the fourth year student under the name Mass f e s t Thesis Exhibition 2024 between the 29th of February until the 1st of March, from 10 p.m. to 8. Oh, sorry, from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. At s a y a m s k e p the first floor in t u l a l o n g k o n building community area. Dr. Nat Warapon l a t t a s i l i w a c h a l a b u n the president of our unit, presided over the opening ceremony on February the 29, 2024, which was organized to demonstrate. The potential and the abilities of students in the Faculty of Mass Communication Technology. Within the event, there were 67 works 
of students from four major under the concept of carnival. The fun event consists of 12 entries from the advertising and public relations major, technology major, eight entries from the television and radio broadcasting technology major, 32 entries from the multimedia technology major, and 15 entries from the creative media technology major work. In addition, there will be a discussion activity. Oh, sorry. It was a discussion activity to exchange knowledge about media and dissemination of work from very talent and well-known speaker on the topic of this time I would like to share, which is a short film that doesn't have a short feel. <laughs> it's a nice thing, isn't it? That hit the mark, break the content and its dialect multimedia in order to exchange experience including creating opportunities for employment in the future. In this event, as assistant professor Dr. Vishapon Thiep Chaturat, the dean of the faculty of the mass communication technology, said that these events aim to allow outsider both the general public and entrepreneurs to see the student work. This year, students from our four major of the four from and in the fourth year came to show their work plainly. Thank you for this part. That's all from our today program. Please stay tuned with us. And see you again. Please subscribe to our channel at worldwideweb.englishonline.rmutp.ac.th or on TikTok at rmutp or on Facebook at rmutp and rmutp live. Thank you. See you again. Goodbye. Tourism at our MUTP 